Hey y'all, today's gonna be a What's Soul video and it starts right now. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. So today, this video is gonna be 20 What's Soul for me on eBay in the last couple of days. This video is a little bit special though because it has my biggest flip of all time in it. My second biggest flip was $350, and this almost doubles it. So super exciting there, and I don't have a lot of money into it, so stay tuned for that. I do appreciate everybody that watches. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This one right here is going to be a laptop cool bell convertible bag with a shoulder strap, purple. Spent $2 at this about 14 months ago at a Goodwill. Sold for $10 plus shipping, so just a really long time to sell, and went to Puerto Rico. This is a vintage old timer pocket knife, the ADT. ADT is going to be on the blade. And uh, it says read because there's some issues with this knife. Still sold for $18 plus shipping. This is not one of the ones I picked up on my last yard sale video. I grossly underestimated the amount of money that I had in that one. I was saying $10 a blade, but they're like brand new. So I actually made double to triple the amount that I actually quoted in that video. So I didn't do my proper research, but that's the most important thing when you do stuff like this. Make sure you do the proper research on sold comps and everything so you don't undervalue your products. Also, that one took about two weeks to sell and had it less than a dollar into it. This one are our Gravity Defy walking shoes. I put this on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, follow me on uh, Instagram at the Beer Thrift Machine. And I said these were a big bolo. They did take a really long time to sell, though. I got them for $6 at the Goodwill. So for $39.99 plus shipping, these were in really good condition, but they still took about three months to sell. So definitely made some money there. Just it took a while to sell for shoes. Warrior Custom Golf Iron Set. Three through pitching wedge with a 3.1 graphite shafts. I don't have a lot of money into these, probably about $10. I sold them for $50. I had them actually at $100, and they've just been sitting around for about eight to nine months. And uh, so somebody offered me 50 bucks plus shipping. I said, okay, just to get them out of here. You know, I only made about $35 after, you know, all said and done, but not too terribly bad. Warrior is a good brand to pick up. They just sell really slow for me for some reason. Pair of 20 pound dumbbells, cast iron hex. 40 pound total weight. These went for $43.50 plus shipping. I had them up around 50 bucks. Somebody offered me $43.50. I thought that was a fair deal. These go in a medium flat rate. Every time I post this on my Instagram, people are like, you know, how do you ship these and shipping so expensive? These, if they are the cast iron hex, 20 pound dumbbell set will fit in a medium flat rate. Anything bigger will have to go in a large flat rate. Anything over 35 pounds I found does not fit in a large flat rate. So something to think about there, but they're really not the, that bad to ship. Just make sure they can't move around. And if they do move around inside that box, they're going to beat each other up. And by the time they get there, they'll probably be all nasty looking. But as long as you pack them very securely, they're pretty easy to ship. So I had about $10 into those and they took only about two weeks to sell. These had four bucks into them, thought they were going to do a little bit better, but I like selling uh, Crown Royal bags. These were a green, peach, and there was 18 of them. Put them up on bid. Only one bid here for $9.99 plus shipping. So only made five bucks, took 10 days to sell. Again, had four bucks into them. This one right here, thank you to Chris. He actually purchased these. He's one of my viewers. I do appreciate it. If you are watching this and you haven't got this yet, I did throw a couple in uh, for free. Hopefully you like them. This is a lot of six hats. And sometimes I just have so many hats that I have to lot them up just because I don't have the room, you know, on my hat rack to go ahead and put them. So there are some good hats in here. Some of them were brand new. They went for $20 plus shipping. They did take about four to five months to sell. And I still love selling hats. This is a really cool mixer but the thing is it actually weighed 25 pounds when i was done shipping this thing now i did put that in the shipping cost and it went uh ground i think to for definitely less because it's oversized package this is a gigantic uh mixer and it i had it for only ten dollars at a goodwill about four months ago so it sold relatively quickly for what it is i thought it was going to take a lot longer but that is a really good name to look out for it had the bowls had some attachments had some other things it worked fine slightly dirty i cleaned it up as best as i could but 150 dollars plus shipping there always remember that the shipping that you're seeing also in the screenshot is the cheapest shipping it's like if i shipped it to myself i get a lot of questions about how are you shipping heavy things that cheap i'm really not i think this person actually paid like $37 or even more than that to ship this out but that screenshot is just like if it's the cheapest shipping shipping to myself for some reason I don't know why it does that it just does when I do the screenshot here it is the biggest flip of my life so far this is 
New Cleveland HB3 hybrid irons, right-handed, three through pitching wedge with the head covers, and I had the original box for it. A while back, probably three or four months ago, I picked up this and another Cleveland set for only $100. I sold the first Cleveland set for $280 and some other clubs in there. So I was well in the profit already. So I really only had about $20 to $50 in this set. And they sold for $700 plus shipping. Super excited about that. Uh, definitely put insurance on this and signature and everything else I could do to get those there because I'm going to be nervous until they get there. I've been watching this tracking very closely, but uh, not too bad. My biggest flip of my life so far, so I'm very excited about that. Golf clubs, always good. Cleveland's a good brand. This is actually an older set. I think it was like 2011 or 2012. The person just never used them, kept them in the box. And uh, very good, very good flip there. I'm very pleased with that. This right here, Sims Fishing Products Bar Fly Tarpon Snapback Hat. Really cool hat. I really liked it a lot. Sims Fishing Products, if you don't know, is a really big bolo when it comes to fishing gear. Some of their stuff is super expensive. Then a used hat goes for $15 plus shipping. So that's not too bad there. Picked up for $2 at a Goodwill only a couple weeks ago. The Vera Bradleys are starting to sell. I took a whole day and listed all my Vera Bradleys. If you've been watching the channel a lot, you saw me pick up like, I think, what was it? 45 pieces of Vera Bradley for about $4 a piece. So right here, $16 into all this. And it went for $40 plus shipping. And it did work out doing the actual like Google lens and then finding the pattern. Some patterns didn't come up, but some of them did. So it did make it a lot easier. But putting them in sets seemed to be helping out. And they are selling okay on eBay. So not too bad there. $40 plus shipping and 16 bucks into that. So not bad. This all clad MC two master chef saucepan 3.5 quarts they go for 50 dollars plus shipping without the lid so all clad huge bowl here when it comes to pots and pans pick this up for two dollars only took about a week and a half to sell so definitely a good uh, pickup there and definitely a huge bowl when it comes to pots and pans is all clad and when you pick this thing up the walls on this pot and pan you can't see how thick it is but it's pretty thick i mean it's like that thick so definitely, you know, it's well built when you actually pick it up just from the sheer weight of that pot. This right here, U.S. Open Golf 1999 Pinehurst. It's faded. Went for $13 and the buyer did pay shipping. This actually went international and they were $40 all in on this. I only got 50 cents into that at an estate sale about three weeks ago. And this is actually the second time I found this golf towel and it sells for over 10 bucks. So if you get it for 50 bucks, I mean 50 cents and sell for $10, it's pretty easy to ship list. It's great. You can't break in shipping or anything. So I'm happy with that. But golf towels also sell pretty well on eBay. So definitely look out for those. But you got to get them cheap. You can't be spending like two, four, five dollars on them. 50 cents, dollar, that's the max on those. This one right here, Craftsman. You know, I like to sell Craftsman. This is one of those uh, reversible combination wrenches with the ratchet on the one side. They always sell good for me and they always sell fast. About two weeks to sell this one. Less than 50 cents into it, went for $18 plus shipping. All that information right there, the 42419G. K E that is stamped on the actual wrench and you can actually type that in to look up exactly what it is and they give you the sole comps on eBay. Vintage Craftsman V series five piece hex set metric $18 with free shipping. These went first class only about five ounces here because they're very small. I stopped picking up any type of hex sets unless they're snap on or Mac and they just take a really long time to sell. I have nothing into these when I bought them maybe pennies but they took probably more than a year to sell. They just sell really, really slow for me for um, Allen wrenches. They just they just do. Bose, this sold in literally a couple minutes. I put it on there. I only have about $2 into this. It was Bose AV321. It, has, it basically goes to speakers. So you plug it into something and then that goes to two speakers. Went for $20 free shipping. I don't do a lot of free shipping, but if there's no other people charging shipping on eBay, I'm going to go ahead and do free shipping just to stay competitive. And that's what I did here. Again, $20 and went free shipping. Super light, still goes first class and sold you know, very fast. So anything Bose does pretty good. New Balance. I bought this down in Georgia about two weeks ago for $10. They sold for $42.50. The buyer did pay shipping. These are trail running hiking boots all weather size 11 and I, I mixed up the lighting here and I think it really worked well with these boots. These That is a really good picture of boot, maybe the best picture I've ever had when it comes to actually taking pictures of shoes, but they sold very quickly and that goes to show you that you know the pictures do really matter and lighting when you're doing eBay stuff. 
This one right here, the hat, the Geisley hat cap where I picked up in Georgia said it's a really good buy and it was it's over $20 plus shipping I had it listed for 30 some of you offered me 20 I had two dollars into it two weeks ago absolutely going to take that I love $20 hat flips because I mean it's an easy $15 $15 after fees so that's not too bad I don't know um that's a good brand to look out for I've never seen one of their hats and actually if you look online there's hardly any listed but if you're out there and you see that name on name brand on a hat definitely pick it up because it sells very good these nike air force ones af ones i'm not really big when it comes to selling like nike shoes but there is a code on the inside i usually just type that in and make sure it's the correct shoe and uh, this is the triple black size 13 got them six dollars probably about a year ago at the goodwill they went for 38 dollars plus shipping and right here the titleist baseball cap blue embroidered poly spandex adjustable Irish Creek, that's what's embroidered on the side of the hat. Went for $13.99. The buyer did pay shipping. $2 out of Goodwill about a month ago. So right there, that's 20 What's sold for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I do these videos so you can go there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I really appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed, always remember to subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.